portion of this episode was sponsored by Blueland. On today's episode, we are gonna be doing 10 holiday hacks that I hope you'll enjoy. So let's get started with our first hack. So from some of my other holiday hack videos, you will know that I like little shortcuts that make something look bougie and handmade, but maybe not. So this time I decided to tackle a store-bought cake, like a birthday cake or something that you would find in the bakery on any given day and turn it into something that looks super special and festive. So this is what I did. So I actually got this from the freezer section at my grocery store. It's not an ice cream cake. You want to make sure it's not that. It's a regular cake. It just happens to be frozen and you want to keep it frozen because I think this next part is going to be much easier if you do that. You're going to want to have a plate and a paper towel, some water. If you've got a uh, frosting knife like this that will be really good and what we're going to do is we're going to very carefully deconstruct this cake i think we are going to take a little bit sharper knife this works much better like i said when it's frozen and you're just gonna take off the excess On the cake that I bought, it actually had a really cool design on the side, and I really wanted to try to keep that intact. If you can't, then just repeat the process that we're gonna do on top on the side, but I was really trying to keep that really cool groove on the side of my cake, and so I was very careful around the bottom to cut that off very carefully. Then you're gonna wanna do a little cleanup around the rim on the little paper liner and all of that, and once you have it, looking like it's going to be a little bit rough around the edges at this point once you've got all of the stuff cut off but then you can take your frosting knife get it a little bit wet and use that to smooth out the existing frosting okay so we have now a blank white cake now i'm just going to say up front if you could get a blank white cake from your bakery that's probably the better place to start but if you can't and you nobody's in the bakery and you just need to snag something you can see that you can get a blank slate fairly easily. So here we go. Now we're going to turn it into Christmas. So all you're going to need is some red cranberries. You could also use raspberries or maybe even cherries, but I think cranberries have a really berry vibe. <laughs> and then you're going to take some rosemary sprigs and we're going to kind of create a faux wreath by just making a ring out of the rosemary sprigs and then sprinkling on some cranberries. Now I froze my cranberries. I don't know that I would recommend that now that I've done it because it really helps. Um, once it starts to thaw out, it's going to mess up with the next part, which is once you've got it looking the way you want it to look, then you're going to just take some powdered sugar and dust the entire top of it, which makes it feel so festive, like there's snow on it. Super, super cute. If you wanted to repeat some of the berries and the sprigs of rosemary around the base of it, you could do that. You could also wrap a ribbon around the base. I liked mine as is because it had that detailing on the outside. I just kind of left it alone. And then you can take a knife and slide it off of the, the paper thing that it comes into and actually onto a cake plate. So you, everybody will think that you slaved hours and hours over this cake and they won't know <laughs> it will be our little secret but it looks so cute right and it didn't take much time it looks super high-end like you got a fancy bakery or you slaved over it it looks so fun so festive and cute and I hope you enjoyed it okay so we have made an absolute mess <laughs> and that's gonna happen especially over the holiday season you're gonna be cooking and preparing and wrapping and there's gonna be glitter there's gonna be all kinds of baking stuff and you need a good cleaning product and that is why I'm so excited to share with you this episode sponsor blue land it's such an amazing concept I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use their product so 
What you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of their bottles. The idea of this is this is the only bottle you will ever need to purchase from them is the first one. You fill it up with warm to hot water and that's what I've done here. Then you take one of these tabs that literally don't take up hardly any space to store, take it out of the package and then you put it into the bottle and then it starts to dissolve. Can you see that fizzing action here? So you let it dissolve just for a couple of minutes and then then you are good to clean with it. I started realizing just how many bottles I was going through and how much that was adding up to. And so what I love about this is you just reuse this bottle over and over and over again. And the refills just cost a little over $2 a piece, which is less than half of what you're paying for at the store. You've got one bottle that you just keep reusing over and over. So that's so good for the environment. I think we're supposed to be good stewards of our earth. So why not? And it saves you money. So they've got three cleaning products. This one's the multi -serve. Surface. They've also got a glass cleaner and a bathroom cleaner. I love that there's no VOCs, no parabens, no ammonia, no bleach. It's just good quality products. They outperform even the industry leaders in cleaning efficiencies. So these are all just really good quality things to have in a cleaner and I love that. You can't beat the price, you can't beat the environmental benefits and it's just awesome. Now you don't have to wait until Black Friday to stock up on Blue Lens amazing products. Just pop on over to their website, give yourself, your friends, and your family an amazing and sustainable gift this holiday season. Just click on the link in the description box below. We are going to be doing a frozen luminary and what you're going to need is some berries and some greener Christmas greenery. So that could be fresh or that could be faux, whatever you have on hand. I just gathered some red berries, not real, just fake and some fake pine needles. You clip them apart, you pop the little pieces off and you're going to take two round containers. It could be a square container whatever you want and there just needs to be a certain amount of gap in between. On mine, it was about an inch thick, maybe, <laughs> maybe three quarters of an inch. Just remember that if you're gonna do it thicker, you're gonna need to allow a little more time for freezing. The first thing you're gonna do is line your bottom if you want some of the greenery on the bottom. You don't really see it, but it does kind of like poke out to the edges, so just keep that in mind. So I took a plastic throwaway container that I had and a plastic cup, because that seemed like a good distance and then I put that plastic cup on top of the greenery that we've added to the bottom and then I proceeded to stuff some greenery around the edges. And then you're gonna fill that outer ring with some water. Now you're gonna wanna tape the center cup to the outer cup and to hold it into place and then you're gonna set this into the freezer for about six to eight hours. You may want to leave it overnight. The thicker it is, it may need a little bit longer time. So just keep that in mind. Once it's totally frozen, you're gonna pull it out and then you're gonna just try to warm up the outside. The easiest way to do this is maybe dunking it in some warm water and maybe putting some warm water in that center cup and that will help release those cups. You may want to use things that you don't mind damaging. Mine didn't get damaged, so just keep that in mind. Now before you use it, if you've used the warm water, you may want to throw it back into the freezer for another 30 minutes just to kind of re-freeze it up. And then you can put a little tea light or a votive in there depending on what you've done size-wise and light that. And it would be a really cute accent for a centerpiece. You could do several of them on a long table and it's just an adorable and festive touch. It has that holiday frosty factor and it's simple and anybody can do this, but it has such a really cool vibe and I hope that you enjoy that holiday hack. So I don't know if you've noticed my fun little snowflake earrings, but that is what we are gonna do for our next holiday hack, which is just taking little ornaments that you can find around and turning them into cute 
earrings. This is something that I like to do around the holiday season because it is so affordable and so cute and it might actually make a really good gift idea as well. This started out being little wood snowflake that I picked up at Hobby Lobby in a pack of 10. So you could actually technically get like five pairs of earrings for $1, right? Well, just over because you're going to need to get the little ear hooks. But what I did is I took my crocodile and just popped a hole on the edge of one of these snowflakes. It's super easy, easy. If you don't have a crocodile, you can take a drill and just drill a little hole into the wood earrings. I like these. These are super, super lightweight and they don't weigh down, but they really pack a punch and make a cute, fun little statement. So then all you need to do is take your earring hook that you can pick up at any craft store and thread it through your hole and boom, that's it. Instant earrings from some little embellishments. I've seen faux wood Christmas trees. I've also done the same idea with some poinsettias last year. So there's a lot of options, it makes a great gift idea and super affordable, cute, easy, easy jewelry. I hope you like that. I certainly like these. I think they're really fun and cute. Okay, so these next couple of hacks are gonna deal with the Christmas tree. The first one is, is if you have a Christmas tree and you want to expand the amount of light that is on it, you want it to look like it has more Christmas lights on it than it really does, just take some little tiny round craft mirrors that are super, super affordable and glue it to some pipe cleaner that's green. And then I would probably do it double-sided, but you don't have to. And then what you're gonna do is slide it underneath the light, twist tie it onto the, each of the branches, and the mirror will reflect the original light and it will increase the amount of twinkle lights that are on your Christmas tree. Very simple and easy to do and it just lights it up and is a little fun little hack there for you. So I hope you liked that. With that in mind, our next hack is... So our next holiday hack is cute, but it's actually more with safety in mind. So if you have pets or little crawling babies or toddlers, sometimes the Christmas tree can cause a little bit of fret and a little bit of worry, especially if it's a little bit taller. So this hack is more about safety but you can make it cute as well. So what you're gonna do is get a whole bunch of little jingle bells and you're gonna thread them through and you're gonna twist tie them in that same green pipe cleaner to the base of your branches and get it all over the place. So anytime little paws or little hands touch or tug on those branches, it rings a bell and the idea is that it will notify you that your little one or your little fur baby is playing with a Christmas tree and hopefully will prevent any mishaps. So hopefully that will help some of you out this Christmas and holiday season. Our next hack, it could be in addition to this hack, but also different direction as well. So the idea for this one is making the heavier ornaments a little bit more secure to your tree. Rather than hanging them with a traditional little hook that you get, instead switching out that hook for some more of that green twist tie. And that way you can twist tie it onto your branches so it's much more secure. This is particularly helpful, especially if you have glass ornaments that you don't want to accidentally get bumped and shattered. It seems like Christmas trees inevitably get bumped from time to time during Christmas season. In fact, once I saw one get pulled all the way over, knocked all the way over, <laughs> it was so, oh dear, I felt so bad. It was not mine, but this just prevents any kind of um, breaking ornaments. And so that will be helpful. Now you can see in this one, I used a giant jingle bell ball. So you could kind of couple that in to the, the last one that I did and it's a little bit larger jingle bell ball so if your little hands are tugging you can really hear it so I hope that that is helpful to you this holiday season I don't know. I kind of feel like we're, we've all been guilty of this next thing at some point in our life. My kids are at the perfect age for this. I have a couple of curious Georges and they want to find out what they're getting for Christmas early. So this next hack is to kind of help throw them off or maybe prevent some of that. Rather than using name tags on your gifts, you could just assign each individual 
quietly to yourself a specific wrapping paper. So you can wrap it up and assign each one of your children a specific wrapping paper color. They don't know which it is and you wanna switch it up every year and then they don't know which one's which and hopefully that will help prevent any curiosity. Now, it's not gonna prevent them from unwrapping all of them. I know that when I was a kid, I may or may not have mischievously unwrapped some presents and then rewrapped them. I'm sure my parents had no idea, <laughs> but hopefully that helps you out a little bit. For this next holiday hack, we are gonna be making a very simple wassail. Now this is a wassail that I grew up on in my house and it's so simple, so easy, but it's really good. So I just thought I would share it with you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some 100% apple juice and you're going to mix it with some red hots now red hots are getting a little bit harder to come by i did find them at family dollar and dollar general but i didn't find them like at the grocery store or something like that so i just wanted to give you a little tip of where you can maybe find them then you're going to take an orange and slice it up and then you're going to put it all in a pot and bring it to a boil and then bring it down to a low simmer now the ratios are going to kind of depend on how spicy you like it and how cinnamony you like it but it's so easy and it melts up really quickly so you could just do a little bit at a time here I used about a half of a box of red hots with a half a gallon of apple juice and then a couple of slices of orange and it's really good it's festive and on top of it it smells really good so you've got like the whole simmer pot idea going on but it's so good and I hope you enjoy it this holiday season Smells so good. Now I know I've done a lot of simmer pots in some of my holiday hack episodes. This next one is gonna be even easier. If you don't wanna do like the slicing of the oranges the, or the lemons or and adding cinnamon sticks and all of that, here's a really easy and inexpensive way to get the aroma of Christmas into your house. All you're gonna need is some Bengal spice herbal tea and some water. And you're gonna bring the water to a boil, throw a couple of the tea bags right into the water and let it simmer on a low simmer. And I promise you, your house is gonna smell amazing. It's so simple, but it definitely screams Christmas. Now I've had a lot of you suggest on my past simmer pots using a, like a small little potpourri crock pot. I love that idea. I haven't been able to find one in the stores, but that's definitely on my purchase list because I think what it does is it will make it last a little bit longer and you don't have to worry about it burning out. But if you don't have a little mini crock pot, you could definitely do this on the stove in a little pan, bring it down to a low simmer and just keep your eye on it. But it really does get the Christmas scent in there in a flash for very inexpensive. So I hope that helps you. Okay, so for this next holiday hack, this is really for you. Those of you who really enjoy decorating the outside of your home with Christmas lights, I have to be honest, I spend a lot of time decorating the interior, but I really don't do a whole lot other than like a wreath and maybe some fun, cute stuff around the door. I don't light up my whole house, but I really do enjoy people who do <laughs> do that. And I really do love going around and looking at all the Christmas lights. So this next hack is for those of you who do light up your houses for the holiday season and a way to protect your cords from shorting out. So the idea is, is you get a Tupperware dish and you just clip out a little bit of the holes on the sides so that you can then place where you're like if you have to run an extension cord and you need to connect the extension cord to another extension cord, this will protect it from getting moisture. So you set the two connected extension cords into the Tupperware bin, put the lid on nice and tight, and then it's protected, doesn't get moisture in it, and it keeps it hopefully a little bit safer. So I hope that helps all of you that do the lights and thank you. Thank you for doing the lights since I don't. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that helps you this holiday season. 
I just want to thank Blue Land once again for sponsoring this episode. I love it when I can align with brands that feel good to me and saving money, doing things that help our environment a little bit. Those feel good. So I'm thr so thrilled to feature them here on my channel. They've given you a 15% off coupon code. It's in the description box. Make sure you pop on over there. Check out their wonderful offerings. They have so many things to choose from and I know you're going to love it. So if you enjoyed these holiday hacks, here's some more to check out. And to all of my DIY Niners, I just want to remind you once again that you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.